Alright, it's time for another Caltime draft. Yeah, the last draft didn't. I was playing very badly. Oh yeah, I should have grabbed the stone from the very beginning. And But uh, yeah, I made that trade for with my 2-2 that pumps the entire team for their 2-2 with no abilities through a double block. That was not... That was not great. So let's see what do we get here. Tybalt's Trickery is terrible and limited. Um, Asian of the Giants is... I don't think it's like first pickable at all because it requires not only two colors, it also requires you to be in Giants. The Great Hall, I think, is better. Uh, there's an Augury Raven, though. Uh, what else? I think the Augury Raven is actually the pick. My Great Hall is basically two colors. Augury Raven, let's see what they think of Jarl. Jarl is just okay. Priest is slightly less than okay. Wither Crown, slightly less than okay. Oh yeah, what do they think about Squash? They actually like Squash as a C plus, but they have Augury Raven as like a C plus and B minus, and I agree. I prefer Augury Raven over Squash as well. So here's a Clarion Spirit, which is great. There's also a Boreal Outrider. Gates of this fell. Lots of white and blue. Of course, like this, they just took the rare, so like it's hard to tell. There's a Iron Verdict and a Bind the Monster. Um, Bind the Monster they have as a C. Clarion Spirit they have as a B, B minus. Boreal Outrider, C plus. B minus. I think um, I don't think the Augury Raven is good enough to pull up. Find the monster to Clarion Spirit or Boreal Outrider. This fell. Iron Verdict. Same stroke. Yeah, there's nothing that I think I'm missing here. So I'm going to take the Clarion Spirit. Uh, with for Blues Fortel, it's a bit easier to double spell. I think White Black is the best at it, but uh, there's a Behold. There's also a Poison the Cup, which is great. Poison the Cup is probably... Yeah, Poison the Cup is a B. Behold's like a C+. Plus. Like Behold is on color with Raven. This pack has no white, very little red. It has a lot of nice black cards and a lot of nice blue cards. I think I would, I think I'll, even though this is three colors, uh, this is not good. I'm not really anywhere close to a deck that has different creature types. The other choice is a Wither Crown. Or Glacial Floodplain, in case I want to go there. Or Shimmer Drift Veil. I think it's just Shimmer Drift Veil here. Actually, oh, Shepherd of the Cosmos is pretty good. Another Augury Raven. Shepherd's like a B minus, C plus. Same with Augury Raven. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, Clarion's, I think Poison the Cups is my best card so far. But I think Clarion Spirit is slightly better than Augury Raven, so that I already have. So that I think that even though Augury Raven here and Shepherd of the Cosmos here are both 
kind of even. I'd rather take Shepard because Claire and Spirit has a slightly stronger pull, but only ever so slightly. Here I don't want any of this. Uh, I could speculate on this swap. I could take this Coma's Faithful. Green's not the color that I've been choosing. So I'm just going to take the snow covered swamp. Um, running out of stuff. Seeing green. This black card is okay. I think. I see it get used against me quite a bit. This list has it as a D, and I kind of agree, but otherwise. Otherwise, my choice is to draft a fourth color. So here's an Infernal Pet. <clears throat> um, there's also a Frost Augur here. How did this make it to pick eight? Oh, I guess these guys rated as a D+. Uh, I guess you have to be very strongly snow, and I'm... I'm not looking like I'm very strongly snow. Yeah, I'll pick Infernal Pet here. Oh, the Hall Wield. Yeah, well, I mean, if I go black white, then I definitely want this Hall. I mean, I might be going black-white. Let's see who I'm drafting with. I'm not going to read all these names. So, I think my decisions during this draft so far have been questionable. So, here I will take... Chihawks of that stupid plow. Um, do you take Ice Tunnel? Yeah, I think I'll take Ice Tunnel over Istfall. It's looking like I may be black, and with Ice Tunnel, I could splash a different color. Oh, gosh. It's like a 6-3, though, so it's kind of kills killed by anything. Um... I guess I'll take Undersea Invader. Uh, cool, I get a rare draft. Target legendary creature, sure. Uh, Dusk Wielder, I guess. Sure. There's another giant ox. So Magda Brazen Outlaw, too bad I'm not picking you. This pack sucks. So I don't have any snow synergies. So I might as well take the playable. Uh, white and black, not really. White not known for its snow. <laughs> so black has some, but not a lot. So I think I just pick up the common ear. I'm nowhere close to red or green, and that's where all of the good, the cards in this pack are, are good red and green cards. So there's dream there's dream devour, but then there's also vengeful reaper, which is I think great. Um, none of the other things in this pack are good. So they have Dream Devour as a D plus, which I agree with. But Vengeful Reaper they have as like a C plus B minus. And yeah, I agree with that. Okay. So Dual Strike's not great. Gates of Isfell, not in those colors. There's another there's a bind a monster Removal, 
There's a God's Hall Guardian, which is a great blocker if we are. Let's do Exile Creature card. If we wanted to, like, maybe hold the ground while we fly over. I mean, that's a thing. I'm not really impressed with Grindrogger and Raise the Draugr. I guess we would have Angels. Yeah, let's take Raise the Draugr. God's Hall Guardian, I think, is so lowly picked by people that no one takes it. So not seeing... I keep seeing red and green. Like Demon Bolt's great. Vicious Return is good. Those were none of the cards I saw in the beginning. Um, there's Spectral Steel. But I don't have anything to get it back with. Invoke the Divine Might. Be okay. I think I'm just going to take the Recruiter. Here's Fersia. So, pick five, black white duel. So, maybe the black white cards just aren't flowing. Like, there's not other black white drafters, because it's like I got Vine Verdict, Sour Valkyrie, which are all cards that I would pick, but I can't pass Fersia, I think. Pretty sure, yeah. Fersia here. How do you spell Fersia? Fersia. Yeah. Well, they have added Fersia as a C. Sal or Valkyrie is another C. Anyway. Dang it. Another raise the Draugr. Well, I guess I should have chosen the Guardian. So again, I don't have a lot of reason to be white. I can splash. But these two are terrible. Can't really splash green and blue. The blue cards aren't really splashable here. So... Uh, a second raise the Draugr. It does help double spell. Um, I guess it's another Infernal Pet. I don't think this list rates Infernal Pet very highly. No, they have it as a D+. Like, the best card in this pack is, again, green. Um, so it's either a Beskar Shield Mate or a Skull Raid. I want creatures in my graveyard, and I want them to be too... Yeah. I want creatures in my graveyard. I think Dogged's Pursuit is terrible, but I don't have any Snow Synergies, so I'm going to take it and not consider it, I guess. Oh, here's another Dogged Pursuit. Well, and these gates are all over the place. These gates of Istvel are all over the place. Oh, there's a Master Skull. Sure. I guess in case I find an enchantment somewhere. This seems familiar. I guess I'll take the, the Gates of Istval. Uh, I, I don't think I'll use... Do I have... Oops. Oh, well. I was like, do I have Invoked the Divine already? I won't play, wouldn't play two Dread Riders. No one's playing Giants. That much is sure, certain. No one's playing Giants. No one's playing White Blue. So I don't. Well, here's a good red card for someone else. Uh, 
probably take the stalwart Valkyrie. Even though it exiles a creature from my graveyard, it doesn't have to. Uh, yeah. Um, so, Toralf. I have Toralf as like a B plus. Oh yeah, so the big question is if I can splash Toralf. I'd only be able to splash the hammer part which is kind of like recursive deal three damage for essentially four mana over and over again. I have a Shimmer Drift Veil. Uh, over a Stalwart Valkyrie, though. Oh, shoot. Oh, Doomscar. Yeah, definitely. With two Raise the Draugrs. Taking it over an Alpine Meadow, but, you know. Pretty clear Doom Scar, I think. Pretty sure this is just another shield mate. Yep. Again, another thing that survives sweepers. Or leaves behind something for sweepers. Yeah, I think I should have chosen the other the stalwart. Uh, Elder Fang Disciple, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Sure. So here it's between like Valor and Coma's Faithful. I don't want to deck myself with Coma's Faithfuls, bringing them back to life all the time, but... Um, same time, I just don't think Valor's... I mean, it synergizes with Doomscar... And I guess Master Scald. I just don't like Faithful. I don't like these self-mill things, even though I have to raise the Draugrs. Um, Death Nail Berserker. I have... Yeah, I haven't seen any interesting equipment either but uh, maybe I'll pick it up at the end here uh, demonic gifts kind of synergizes with death knell berserker um, there's gold Maw champion and warhorn blast with 15 creatures I can't and only one creature maker I can't really say that we're going to go wide I think Demonic Gifts might be the play here. Not sure, though. I didn't find any way to splash red. Which is too bad. Um, this deck is being... This deck is not coming together. It, oh, well. Sure, Death Nail Berserker. Another shield mate is good. Here. Yeah. Uh, I can take Raven Wings. Yeah, and that's plus one plus O oh for my two Death Nail Berserkers. Even though I already have a lot of flying, I'm using it more for just. It's another Infernal Pet. Yeah, these are not great. Uh, I guess I'll take a Coma's Faithful if you force it upon me. A Raider's Carve? We'll see. We'll see if that makes the cut. It's very competitive amongst all these really low-quality cards. <laughs> yeah. 
We do have Doomscar. Oops, what did I just do? No, I don't want you. Okay. Target Artifact or Enchantment Card. He could get back the Raider's Carve. Let's see, Crew 3. Okay. So, three cuts from this should be pretty darn easy. The way I double spell is pretty much with Raise the Draugers. I'm very light on removal. Did I pick up that Invoke the Divine? Yeah, destroy target artifact or enchantment. I gain four life. I can't really tell if this deck is aggro or I think it's just mid-ish range that then when it falls behind tries praise for Doomscar. So now it's four cuts. So I know I just added an Evoke Divine, but I'm pretty sure it could be cut. Raider's Carve could be cut. I think Raven Wings, even though I have so much flying already, I have two Death Knell Berserkers for it. Uh, Valor of the Worthy, but I'll still put it on the cut pile. Demonic Gifts I'll put on the cut pile, and Valor of the Worthy I'll put on the cut pile. Uh, we'll put these Infernal Pets and the Comus Faithful on the cut pile, Draugr Recruiter on the cut pile. Master Scald would go on the cut pile if we lose too many artifacts and enchantments, which are all on the cut pile. Uh, Dread Rider is also on the cut pile. So our deck kind of does a lot of graveyard recursion stuff with Shepherd of the Cosmos and Raise the Draugr, which means that Dread Rider is kind of unsynergistic. There's not synergy between Dread Rider and this deck. Coma's um, Faithful does actually help, I think. I don't want to. I don't. I still don't like the idea of playing two of them. But with Master Scald as well. It's an interesting, it's an interesting idea, and com and synergy. I think I can take out Dread Rider. I think I have enough flying stuff that it doesn't matter too much, and I have so much graveyard recursion between Shepherd of the Cosmos to raise the Draugrs that I would, I would rather just use those. And it's expensive for a 3-7. So I have three more cuts. Uh, in terms of removal, I poison the cup, Doomscar. I do not have a lot of removal. I think... Hmm. This pretty much just kills equipment. I think if I was like a late game control type of deck... I think you could run one Invoke the Divine from lack of options, but I think as a mid-range deck, I don't think I don't think that's relevant. Uh, let's see, Demonic Gifts I think is good. I have some things that do stuff when they die or enter the battlefield, like Disciple, Berserker, Shield Mates, Shepherd. So that kind of ETB or, yeah, I guess it's enter the battlefield and also exit the battlefield, like Master Scald as well. So two more cuts. Yeah, another thing about, I guess, Coma's Faithful is actually good. 
there's not really like mill in this format like there has been in previous formats where you had to worry about running up against a mill deck. I kind of like Recruiter over... I think I'm going to take out one Infernal Pet. And what does Raider's Carve give us over anything else? It gives us a way to get rid of lands. I've just never been that impressed with vehicles. I have Raider's Carve as like a DD plus. If there was like, I do have the Ox, yes, but no. I think it's, I think the cut is Raider's Carve. And then I think this is the deck. Put all these cards back where they're supposed to be. Yeah, like Okay, so we want to do a lot of trading off with our creatures. It's too bad I didn't I didn't even see a village rights. This deck could have actually used a village rights. Yeah. Okay, let's call this raising let's call this raising the dread scar. Alright, it's a weird deck. I think uh I think the colors that I was supposed to somehow find myself in was like some combination of green and red. Or maybe green. Yeah. But like I kept feeling like blue was open somewhere because I kept seeing like a blue white go by, a blue red go by. I saw blue green Marit, but that was very early in a pack, so maybe someone was playing blue green. Uh, oh. uh I can keep this because. Because of Doomscar? It's still double white. I have 16 creatures. I'm not sure what color I choose. I guess black. foretell this doom scar uh, because who the heck knows <laughs> all right that's cool so I did get my third land and you just gotta hope for a uh, a fourth, <laughs> and hopefully it's a plane. So um, I'm going to block because I have raised the dread scar, and I don't even know if I have another planes. Okay, cool.
So I think I have to If the cone is faithful attacks, I block it. Even though I have raised the dread the uh, even though I have Doomscar, I don't have double white to play it. I've drawn two swamps after declaring Shimmer Drift Veil Black. What are these? They're just imps? Oh. Yep, sure. Ugh. I lost Coma's Faithful and Land and Swamp, which is okay, but losing this poison in the cup is terrible. What does this thing even do? You have to have legendary creatures, and you can reveal legendary creatures and put them into your hand. So, uh, if I draw a land next turn, I can go Imp Raven Wings. Yeah, I have quite a few two drops. I just haven't been drawing them. my rock. There's my rock. All right. <laughs> Shadow Sage, sure. So this is uh, more swamps. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. What does this trigger on? You need two, four, six total. So they're one away from using this, and you get two elves. So I have to block this guy. I would just really appreciate a uh, white mana. I gotta check my lands before this, but 
There's like there's at least eight, so there's seven left in this deck. Five damage. I mean, I, I have to block it because they can just attack with a Dusk Wielder and then boast, and I'd lose. So. Ah, oh, deck, you continue to just. Uh, you've killed me, Deck. Yep. Oh, well. Trying to think if I had foretold the uh, angel, I would have been able to play it there and getting brought back a death knell berserker. Look at, look at these two drops. Look at that. One, two, three, f six, seven, two drops. Yeah. Um, and I have seven white sources, nine black sources. Wait, that's not right. So eight blacks, eight white, eight white, eight black. There we go. And a shimmer drift fail. Yeah, even though like. I have more black than white. I have I I, don't, I have a couple double black spells, but I also have want to have double white as well. So if I had looked at those lands, who knows? Maybe the one that I had switched out would have been the uh, planes for Doomscar. Who knows? Maybe it would have been one of the ones uh, yeeted. Uh, this is fine. Black again. So Clarion, Clarion. So then I can Infernal Pet and then turn after that Death Knell Berserker Valor. They could have put down a third land and then execute Clarion Spirit, but I guess that's pretty much a whatever. Okay. Let's set up Death Knell Berserker with a Valor. So none of these have the same. Creature types. Let's attack with these two, see what he does. OK. 
Okay. That carve was always going to be kind of in the way, and I did forget about it. No blocks. Okay. Seven, eight, yeah, I don't know whether to attack with Clarence Spirit there, if I think he has a board sweep or not. I did have a raisin with the Draugr in hand, so I guess for the two Death Knell Berserkers. Theory 12, 13. Hmm. Okay, so keeping this hand... I have 17 lands, I'm on the draw. I just need to draw one of my 15 remaining lands on my third draw step. And I can foretell Shepherd rather than Doomscar. Or I can just play Death Knell Berserker. I'm going to put this out because it blocks Packmate a whole lot better than my Infernal Pet. And even if I were to draw planes, I still wouldn't be able to double spell for Infernal Pet. I'm willing to attack with Coma's Faithful. Let's see what I mill off the top. Planes, 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 and Valor. Those are all fine. So this is coming down as white. Ooh, we got rid of his... Oh, look at this forest! Wow, he loves these art lands. Ooh, the elixir. Sure. So I can't double spell because of the lack of white mana. I could bring out the faithful, but the one two pretty much counters the faithful. Uh, I could foretell Shepherd and play Shieldmate. Foretell doesn't count as casting a card though, so let's attack with both of these. Another foretell. Wow. Okay. Raven, that's cool. I 
All right, excellent. So now I can double spell. I feel like uh, casting Doomscar here is not great. This guy's a 3-3. Three, three. What does this do? I think I go no blocks. So he gets to take two snow permanents and put them back into his hand. So he can shuffle in two planes. It kind of sucks that uh Oh, it has freaking reach. Oh. Okay. have to kind of play because I maybe I shouldn't have played Rook Reader. I should have just foretold another card. Okay. Another Raven form. Sure. So I have to I want to wait for Doomscar after the shuffle. Yeah, I also don't want an Elder Fang Disciple. So he can play, pay three and put... pay four. It definitely has enough. I don't want to play the Elder Fang Disciple because they could be holding some amazing creature and then they would just shuffle them in. As for attacking, uh, I don't want to lose a Beskar, Beskar shield mate. So I'm going to foretell this. I don't hold the stone. And so if I don't attack, I don't think I attack.
So it's probably planes, planes. Oh, commas faithful. All right. Eight. Okay, so they haven't played that card in their hand, so I'm going to see what it is. with this guy. Okay. Okay, so Human Warrior, Elf Berserker, Elf Cleric. Let's attack with everything. And then let's get in the Death Knell Berserker. Yeah, I'm not getting back the Infernal Pet because I can't get two back. I have Demonic Gifts for the Berserker, so it makes it pretty good. Wow. I didn't realize she could even do that. And then let's have a little bit of protection from discard. when it leaves and no, that's just when it dies. Sure. And now things happen. Yep. <laughs> oh man, that doom scar. <laughs> that okay, so that's how the deck works, by the way. Uh you'll never see it again. But that is how the deck is supposed to work. That's exactly how the deck works. Uh, the store, what are the daily deals? Oh, things I already have from Master Treks. All right, cool. So <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe the deck actually worked. Like, gosh, that is... I, I, I can't... This is a keep. I just can't help 
keep going over it, but that's, yeah, that's how the deck works. Okay. So I pretty much always want to foretell of the Doom Scar. Sometimes like your opponents can guess what it is based off of how you foretell it. So this guy boasts. So I'm really not going to be able to block him. Uh, so he basically gets free attacks, so I might as well take my two and he gets his two. And I'll foretell. But yeah, uh, Ben Stark, who you might know I watch, because I mention him almost every video, uh, talks about how people will eventually be able to predict that uh, you can foretell. So Draga Recruiter obviously blocks him. Uh, I think that they have something. I think it's better to just eat the Batter Shield Warrior with the Dragger Recruiter. Batter Shield Warrior has, I think, is a bench better card. Swamp now. Then he gets the forest, and then he, they gain death touch. So I'm not going to Doomscar a single creature. But I'm going to play Master Skull just to block the Batter Shield Warrior for at least one turn. I keep trying to talk about uh, foretelling, <laughs> but I keep getting interrupted. But yeah, uh, he was saying, Ben Stark was saying that the foretelling, eventually people will guess what you foretell based on your colors, based off of what, how you do and how you react to stuff. And um, okay. And uh, so foretelling certain cards is actually a bad thing in certain instances, especially when you have a lot of mana. But I think a rare, like, Doomscar, it doesn't matter as much. I'm going to play this Plains. So they're going to have Death Touch next turn. So I'm going to attack with all and hold up Demonic Gifts. I think I'll play another shield mate. And an Elder Fang Disciple. It's probably going to be a land. No, it's not a land. I wonder if they have their own board clear. So that thing has the death touch. That's a lindworm. I could doom scar this. Oh, they didn't attack. I think I just pass here. Because I want to play a creature immediately after Doom Scarring. Sure. OK, 
Okay, we're going to name this black, and we're going to just pass. I might have to Doomscar here. Not blocking with the shield mates is a pretty big telegraph that I have. Some kind of AoE. I'll choose target creature you control and target creature you don't control. Snow creature and gains indestructible. If you control three one, Okay. Angel Warrior Worm. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hold on to this land because I don't need it. Gonna play. No, I'm gonna hold on to the land. Okay, and then this triggers their angel warrior flying. As long as I don't die here from 15, I'll be okay. Oh, cool. They did not attack. Okay. There's a rare that would save them. That's about it though. Is this black? Yes. All right. I mean, if you have your own board clear, then it's still game on. <laughs> oh, I guess that wasn't my second spell cast. Right. I have no idea what he foretold and why it's ne <laughs> why it's never being used. I'm going to foretell this let's see, six. Yeah, I'm gonna foretell this angel. Uh, because 
I don't want to play my last creature into a potential board clear. Like, if I was him, I'd be like, I have to get as much value out of this board clear as possible. Oh. Look at that. Okay. So a creature with the greatest power. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, he's coming back into this because I keep drawing my lands. 3, 7, 10, 11. So I have 6 lands left. Uh, so 4, 3. Blocking this 4, 3. With a 1, 1. I think I just say no blocks, and then I attack with my 1, 1. Um, yeah, and then I don't, if I attack here, he can exile a 1-1. One, one. I guess if I had attacked with my own one ones. Oh, they have vigilance. And lifelink. Wow. All right. So he doesn't have any cards in hand. And I see no reason to play these lands. <laughs> So I'm going to take three, block this five, four. It's okay. Now we know why he wasn't playing any of that. Even after the board clear, <laughs> I Still, I'm not able to swing this around. I need him to draw the rest of his land. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's drawn 11 lands. I've drawn 12. So I guess we're pretty easy, even in that regard. Oh my goodness me. If I play a land, it's basically like. He knows I have lands. I, mean, I really want to draw my two raise the draggers. Braggart's a problem. I 
can't believe after that board clear, it's become another board stall. Definitely block with coma and a 1-1. One, one. I'm guessing he has more, but I can't really allocate more to saving him. Okay, cool. Watch my uh, Raise of Draugers go. Uh, Raise of Draugr and Fersia. And then I draw land. This can be done anytime, right? Sack a creature you control, create a 4 4 Flying Vigilance. Oh, anytime you could cast a sorcery. Okay. Look at my handful of land. Look at my powerful discard protection. 4, 8, 9, 14, 15, 16. So there's exactly one land left in my deck. So there is exactly one land left in my deck. Yeah, and my 4 4 Angel can block everything. So I'm just going to do this. Sure. So, like, I should draw all gas. Oh, are you serious? I need you to... Uh. Well. Yeah, I can't believe, like... Oh, man. The lands... I just kept drawing lands. And, yeah. Oh, uh, man. <laughs> One land left in eight cards is, uh, is pretty amazing. That's... Flood pockets are bad. <laughs> oh, this is a keep. Play my tapped land. Oh, I should have gotten some water. Okay, play the shield mate over the berserker. I don't have any ways of buffing the berserker. I think there's only like two ways of buffing it in this entire deck. Koma's dying. Yeah, Koma just kind of killed me. All right, let's attack. Mm, gosh, I keep burping. Sorry about that. Uh, I kind of just have to play this card. I wish I had some other card to play other than Koma, but they're not better than Koma's Faithful. I will discard this planes.
am okay trading this 2-1 for your 1-1 one one because it gets that 2-1 into the graveyard for a shepherd. Okay. Well, that was disappointing. So the red, so there's snow. Maybe I should have foretold Shepard in case they have more discard. But looks like I was not punished. They are a kind of multicolored, super multicolored snow deck. I have no cards to get back. I'm actually going to put Valor on Coma. To attack through this 1-4. And then I'm going to foretell this. That's pretty darn good. So first strike is pretty bad for me here. I think I'm losing. I think I've lost this game. <laughs> I need creatures in my graveyard, not lands. Like, attacking literally does nothing for me. So I pretty much just have to play Shepherd of the Cosmos without... I did not realize I could return lands. That is actually really good. <laughs> I can't sacrifice this yet. So it does get two four fours. But it's not as bad as it could have been.
See if he taps anything. Yeah, I figured he'd tap that. And then I'll play the swap so that I have raise the dragger up. It's an instant. Okay, you block there. I have to kill this. And this 1-1's one, not going to do much. The 4-4 four, four has trample, so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't die. Oh no, not Doomscar. Doomscar was my out. Uh, this is why I hate Comas Faithful. But it does look like I am getting Comas Faithful back. I have poison the cup remaining. Let's see if they tap. No. Nope. Okay. They already know I'm screwed. See no reason to play the land. Oh, what is this? Oh, Coma's Faithful, you have betrayed me so hard by getting rid of that Doomscar. I don't even know. This guy is just a block of text. He wins. Yeah. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 15, 17, so not dead. I can't really block the tramplers, let's see, 10 and 12, and I don't even know what this guy does. One or more counters, put twice that many, and then put half that many, sure. I don't know why he didn't attack with more. He could have lethaled me. Um, but yeah, I'm just dead. Yeah, I think this deck suffered from not having enough removal. Uh, it was pretty much just Poison the Cup and the board wipe. I did get to see the deck work, and then I got to see the deck not work after clearing the whole board because I started drawing all my land, <laughs> which was fun. Um, 
guess the other thing that this yeah this deck didn't really have any kind of flood protection yeah except for foretell except for the poison the cup with foretelling it really wanted it had like card draw in a way with Draugr, Draugr Recruiter. I think I might have played Draugr Recruiter in the game where I had the Dread Scar before I played the Dread Scar. And looking and looking back at that game, it might have been I don't know, it was depending on the circumstance. Like, there was one, I can't remember which one, I was just stuck on one white for like 10 turns, or it felt like forever, eternity. But I think this deck, without all that, without enough removal, was really just this good, like I was expecting. I was hoping three wins, but two wins is pretty me. Meh. Man. The, the deck, I think I played better here for the most part compared to my last previous draft but my previous draft definitely had the better deck I just I think misplayed it and one or at least one of those games could have potentially been converted into a win uh, but yeah I'm going to have to play tomorrow again that's cool All right uh Losing all my gems to these <laughs> two wins. Oh, uh, that's how it goes. All right, that's it.